For those of you who don't know, I'm Maggie, and today I'm really excited to be sharing with you my very first gift guide of the season. I tend to do these every single year, but one that I skipped last year was the gift guide for her. So we are back with some new and improved suggestions, and these come from a variety of categories. So we have like clothing and accessories, we've got fitness, we've got home things. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive right in. We have a long list of items to cover today, and we're gonna start with clothing and accessories. So the first item is actually something that I received as a gift last year from my husband Brian and it is this ultra cozy parachute robe so this is their cotton cloud robe I have mine in the shade clay and these are marketed as unisex robes so actually Brian has this exact robe too in like the olivey hunter green color I have mine in the size extra small and it's perfectly oversized so I would say definitely stick with your recipients true size the sleeves just FYI they don't cuff at the bottom or anything they are just kind of like a wide open sleeve and it does come with a tie, so it does tie around your waist nicely. They do offer it in a variety of materials, so that one is a really light cotton. So if you live in a warmer climate like we do, we live in Texas, that's really great year round. But if you do live in a colder climate and want something a little thicker, I would probably recommend like the waffle weave robe, but this one is a little bit softer, a little bit lighter, and I just love the material itself and can't say enough good things. I will say though, it's definitely not inexpensive. So if you do have a bigger budget, I would recommend this. I think it would be great for virtually anyone on your list, not just to her. Next up, still in the clothing and accessories category, is another item of loungewear. These happen to be these ultra cozy pajamas from the brand called Cozy Earth. You've probably heard about these. They make pajamas, but they also make streetwear. So you can get like t-shirts and hoodies, joggers, things like that, that also come in this crazy soft material. I feel like multiple different stores sell pajamas with this exact same style, but this material, really sets it apart. These have like a really weighty kind of like slinky material. Don't know how to describe it, but it is made of bamboo. And so their big selling point is that you don't get super hot when you sleep in their pajamas. Coming from a hot sleeper, I can attest to these being very comfortable to sleep in because I actually ended up going with the long pants and short sleeve set. I was completely fine, have not sweated all throughout the night when wearing these. The one con I will throw out there is I'm short. These are not offered in like petite sizes, so these are super long on me. I got my true size extra small, and I would say that they fit kind of loose, a little bit oversized. They're definitely not gonna be fitted if you stick with your normal size. They also come in a variety of colors, a lot of very basic classic colors like black, navy, cream, this light gray color, and I want to say maybe a light pink. So very high quality, can't go wrong with a good classic set of pajamas. Moving away from loungewear, still in clothing and accessories, and we're switching gears and talking about something a little bit more practical and utilitarian, and that is this sling. So you know, you wear it across your body like this, and it is so comfortable, handy, convenient, I mean, I don't know why these things didn't become more popular sooner. There are approximately a million on the market right now, and for good reason, I'll be honest. And I love that this kind of limits what you bring along with you. So the other night we went to play putt-putt. This was the perfect thing for me to just like throw across my body. So this one in particular comes from a family business. It's called Walker Family Goods, and they sell a ton of these really high quality, kind of like, nylon-y bags. They come in a bunch of colors. Mine specifically is in peach, and Brian even has this exact same one in black and has worn it a ton. I love the organization that it offers. On the inside here, you have an inside zipper pocket. You also have like a little side pocket here that you could slip like a credit card or your wallet into, and then it still leaves this entire space open for anything else you may be carrying. On the front pocket, on the inside is actually lined with this black felt kind of material that's good for anything that may get scratched like your phone. And then they've also included another zipper pouch on the back. I also love that it's not like a designer brand. You're not worried about it if you're using it for like, I don't know, fun outings and things like that. And I think that this is a great price point at like $44 I think is what it costs. And again, you can find a color that would work for whoever you're gifting to really well. 
While I'm singing the praises of the Walker Goods sling, I did want to go ahead and throw out that they have a ton of bags on their website, but one that I'm eyeing that may be on my list this year is their tote. And I love that it has a front organization pocket so you could easily slip easy to grab things like your phone or your wallet in. It has that same zippered pocket in the back that you could throw any of your valuables in, but it's the inside that I feel like is so thoughtfully designed that makes me want this really badly. So they have an area for you to slip your laptop Top. There's plenty of space on the inside in general, but they also have two water bottle holders on the inside, which is huge. I feel like totes don't often think about that, but then they also have little pockets on the inside to keep your everyday items that maybe you don't wanna switch out often. So you could keep pins in there, you could keep hand sanitizer in there, lotions, lip balm, things like that. It's made with that same kind of nylon material that's really durable and easy to wipe down. So I feel like it would be nice to use as a plane carry-on because you could slide it under your seat and not worry about it getting scratched because it's not leather. But this could also be great for somebody who commutes to work all the time and just wants one really organized bag. Just wanted to put a plug in for that. I don't have it to physically show you, but they have a ton of options on their website. Definitely check out those bags. We also own their backpack and Brian owns one of their duffel bags in addition to the slings. So we can definitely speak to quality and longevity of them and they're 10 out of 10. Another accessory option also comes from a small business, and this is Edited Pieces. This is this beautiful, they call it a horse bit belt. I love that it can be worn with like a dress, so you could like belt a kind of blousey dress, or you can wear this with your normal like slacks if you go to work, or just your everyday blue jeans with like a little shirt tucked in. Very cute. But the thing that makes this even more practical and made me purchase it like immediately when it came out is that it's reversible. So you actually get a brown side and a black side and you will pretty much never need any other belt again. <laughs> so it just makes it super practical. It's really great quality and the size chart is so helpful. They tell you exactly how to measure your waist so that you're getting the right size. So if you're kind of unsure about their sizes, you can do a pretty good job of guessing. Again, this is a little bit of a splurge, but you're basically gifting two belts in one and they can wear this with so much. It's so practical. This is such a nice kind of unique accessory gift. Next and last in this category is my wallet. I love this thing. It's actually marketed as like a card accordion case on the Dagny Dover website. Now, if you do have a few bills, you can fold them up and slide them into the little card slots but I've had mine just a black leather wallet for five plus years at this point, and it's still in fantastic shape. It's also really great because you can transfer it to a variety of purse sizes without having to like switch out everything all the time. It's also really nice to travel with without having like a big bulky wallet. You can just throw it in your backpack and go. And again, the black, was a really good choice. I really wanted the blue one that they offered at the time. Don't even think they sell that anymore, but I'm glad that I went with a darker color for how much wear and tear I've put on that thing. So if you want to gift something really practical that's beautiful and really well made that they'll use all the time, Highly recommend this. Let's move into some beauty things, shall we? And the first thing is a new discovery for me. Well, to an extent. So it is this Olive in June manicure kit, and it actually comes in a much bigger box that I've gotten rid of at this point. This is good and customizable for a variety of price points because you have the option to get the manicure kit and include one polish or six polishes. Obviously, if you choose the six polish option, the price is gonna go up a little bit. If you have a best friend in your life and you really wanna splurge on them, I can see this being a great option. It comes with this great little nail polish remover pot designed to where you can like stick your fingers in and it has sponges on the outside that really quickly take off your polish. You also get this great cuticle serum, used that last night, a nail file, a professional grade kind of nail buffer. It also comes with a pair of clippers with this great little grippy material on the outside. This tiny little detail brush that you can actually use to get any like overflow polish off of your cuticles or your fingers. The super glossy top coat. And it also comes with their signature poppy. If you never heard of Olive and June, they've designed this little cap that goes on top of your nail polishes and makes it a little bit more ergonomic and just easier to hold and apply your polish. You can buy all of these things separately, but together it's a much better value and it's just fun to have like a full at-home manicure kit. 
Speaking of polish, you have the option to add on one, which I would recommend to keep the price point a little bit more reasonable. So this color in particular, I think is really unique. I actually just took this off my nails. This is the shade Social Studies and was part of their fall collection. And I think it's just this beautiful little denim blue that's unique. And if you're picking out one polish, definitely go for it. Make it something fun, make it glittery or shimmery, or maybe like a super dark hue. Don't do something boring that they would buy themselves. You know, that's my one recommendation. But they also have the option for add-ons. So if you do want to spend just a little bit extra, my recommendation would be to add on the drying drops. These things work. Just one to two drops on each nail right after you paint it makes your nails dry in legitimately like two minutes. If you want to help somebody save on going to the nail salon a lot, or you just want to give them like a little at-home spa option, I think anybody would love getting this little manicure kit. Yeah. Next up in the beauty category is this hair oil. This is honestly a rather recent discovery for me, but this is a multi-purpose oil that is very giftable because you don't have to know somebody's like sizes. You don't have to know the correct shade of makeup that they wear. This is good for most people, I feel like. It's a multi-purpose oil that they can use on their face, their body, and their hair. So they can mix this in with their lotion. But I use this mostly as a hair oil. So after you blow dry your hair, if you're like me and you struggle with that like crown of broken hairs, this completely solves that problem. One spritz just kind of lightly rubbed on your hair works wonders. And it also has a very beautiful kind of like perfumey scent. So it feels very nice grown up and mature. And this is so reasonable. I wanna say for this size that I feel like is probably gonna last me a lifetime, it was like in the 20-ish dollar range. I have been so impressed by this and it's just kind of luxurious and something that somebody wouldn't normally buy for themselves. And I think that those are good qualities that make a great gift. This perfume. I know. I feel like perfume is a very like common gifted item, but it can also be really nerve wracking because you don't know if they're gonna like the scent. But the reason I'm mentioning this perfume specifically is because I have worn this for years and I get compliments on this perfume every time I put it on. And I've gotten compliments from guys, I've got compliments from girls. For people who I've just met, everybody seems to like this scent. It feels really universal. The scent itself lasts forever on me. The reviews I feel like are all over the place on the staying power, but in my experience, A++. It's called you because they say that the scent is supposed to transform with your body chemistry, but I mean, that is true of all perfumes, but apparently this just ends up smelling really good on most people. It's definitely spicy, a little bit fresh. I view this as like my winter perfume, but it's definitely something that could be worn year round. That's just like a nostalgia thing for me. And I feel like this would be great and universally well loved. All right, the next kit I can't show you because I actually used it all up, but it is the Necessary Body Ritual kit. Now the kit consists of four of their most popular items in like a travel size. I want to say each product was like three ish ounces. So you get a solid month or two to like really test the products out and see if you like them. I also am a big fan of Necessaire's ingredients. They keep things really simple. I think only their shampoo, conditioner, and body wash has some this like really light eucalyptus fragrance. But again, it's made with like naturally derived fragrance ingredients and all of their packaging can be recycled. It's one of those that I feel like you just can't go wrong with. Most people take a shower and a lot of people use body lotion. And so you know that the products are going to be used, but you're also throwing in some kind of unique product. So it also comes with a body scrub and their very, very popular body serum. Because it's a little trial kit, the price point is so fair. Around this time of year, beauty gift sets are like off the charts. There are hundreds of them that you have to weed through and it's really hard to determine if something is a good value or not, especially if you're not like very familiar with the normal retail pricing. Well, this year I discovered the brand Say, have loved every single thing that I've tried from the brand, including this glowy super gel. So this is kind of a glowy primer that you put on under your foundation and it just gives you that good healthy glow. Great for the winter time, especially when our skin is dry, right? This holiday, they have a two piece set of this glowy super gel in star glow, which is like this lighter shade. And then they're also offering like their more bronzy shade. I think it's called bronze glow. Actually, let me double check warm glow. It's called warm glow, not bronze glow. So you can get two of these mini sizes for $22. And one of these mini sizes typically retails for $16. So that is a really 
great deal. And another good thing about this product specifically is that you don't have to guess on a shade. Both of the shades work with all skin tones and too many sizes is gonna last them a pretty long time. Okay, I feel like these were so popular for so many years, but I was really late to the bandwagon and maybe you have a friend that was too. So this is one of those blow dry hairbrushes. This one specifically comes from Amika and it came in a great valued gift set from Sephora. I have never tried the Revlon version of this blow dry brush, but it does have incredible reviews and it's like $30. So I wanted to throw this out there in general because you can get them at a variety of price points depending on what your budget is. Every time I use this, I'm like, why don't I use this more? It really does give you like an at home, like salon quality blown out kind of look. All right, moving on to home things. And it's a sparkling water machine. We love sparkling water and I feel like we were going through dozens of cans every week. So my mom noticed this, she noticed that we loved them and researched the heck out of these machines to find one that was low waste. My parents gifted us a sparkle machine with the typical like soda stream you have these CO2 cartridges that you're constantly using up and they're really expensive. But the sparkle machine works with this like dual powder combo instead of the CO2 cartridges. You can buy these humongous bulk packs like I'm looking at one right now. This comes with 90 of those which would make 90 bottles of water and that's $38. If you have different preferences in your house they can actually customize it to their taste because they have levels one through five. I like super bubbly sparkling water. Topo Chico I feel like is my favorite. I think it's the bubbliest of them all. So I use the super high setting, setting number five. It cuts down on our grocery bill a little bit because we're making more sparkling water at home. We're cutting out waste because we're not using the cans all the time. So if you have a sparkling water lover in your life, I highly highly recommend this. The next kitchen related item is definitely the most well loved kitchen tool all year for us. And that is this saute pan from Caraway. Brian gifted me the entire like Caraway pots and pans set last year. So it came with a Dutch oven, this saute pan, a fry pan, and like a quart, like a saucepan. The great thing about this cookware that cannot be said about other popular ones on the market is that this can transfer from your stove top into the oven. It also works on induction stoves and regular like gas ranges or electric ranges. So the versatility of this and the odds of this working for the person that you gift it to is like super hot, off the charts, very practical, easy gift. It is so high quality, it's very heavyweight. Like me trying to dump this with one hand is oftentimes very, very hard, but this is so deep and the sides are so tall that it really allows you to make big batches of food easily, which I really love. If you're looking for something that can go from stovetop to oven that's super high quality, exceptionally nonstick. We've used this a million times and it is so nonstick still. This is the option. I have mine in the cream color. They also come in fun colors too. Check out their line if you're looking to gift something in the kitchen realm, but if I had to pick one pan, go with the saute pan. It also comes with a nice top. The last item that's home related is another one that I have shouted from the rooftops many times on this channel and that is my Pura. It was gifted to me last year from one of my good friends, Kessler. It's a good pet friendly, kid safe way to diffuse scents in your home. We were dealing with so much like soot that came from our candle. It was just giving us headaches and leaving this black film on everything in really weird places like on our trash can that like pulls out from our counter, on the inside lining of our fridge. Very weird, also quite concerning. So the Pura doesn't do any of that. There is no flame, it is non-toxic, and they offer a ton of scents from very famous candle brands. You're not sacrificing anything and you're getting a much healthier, cleaner home. It's really cool, it's a smart device too, so you can set schedules for it and you can control it from your phone. So if you forget to turn it off when you're out of town, you can do that easily. I'll also link several of my favorite scents in the description box. It can be overwhelming, their selection is huge, but go with what you know to start. The device itself is $40, so I feel like a very reasonable price point for a lot of people could be a good option. Moving on to health and kind of fitness category. And I have to give a shout out to my Bala bangles. 
they're currently stuck together. These I got when I was a member at a local gym and they had this modality where you use these ankle weights a lot. We also put them on our wrists. I would use them a ton. Well, then the pandemic happened and then I stopped going to a gym. But now that we have Peloton, we have Pilates classes and bar classes and adding these one pound weights to your ankles and your wrists can completely transform a workout. They also feel really, really nice. They're kind of that like soft touch rubbery material. They work with Velcro and they stay on really well even in super hot environments. This is their original design and since then they have upgraded things a bit and I love the way the new ones look but since these are gonna last me a lifetime there's just absolutely no need to replace them. They come in the one pound and two pound varieties. I own the one pound and can tell you that it still amps things up quite a bit so I would go lower if you're unsure. Great for the fitness lover in your life. I have absolutely loved the adjustable weights that we have. I'm actually sitting in our gym. Like I can reach out and touch our Peloton right here. So this is kind of the area that I have to exercise in. And because we don't have a ton of storage in our house, we needed to keep our like fitness equipment footprint really small. If you have somebody that is apartment living or they're like us and just don't have a dedicated gym at their home and they don't have a ton of space to do things, adjustable weights would be fantastic. So ours came from Amazon and they adjust from five pounds to 25 pounds. How it works is you just move this little pin you drop it down and it adds or takes off a plate. They're really well made. They have like a great metal, like no slip kind of grip in the handles. Very well loved in our house. Maybe your recipient will love it too. That is it. That marks the end of our first gift guide of the season. I already have a gift guide for him underway, another one that I haven't done in a couple of years. But if you're interested in reviewing all of these items in a written form, I have all of these gift guides also on my website, maggiestwosins.com. I've also tried to do my best to kind of archive gift guides of years past onto that website. Wanted to throw that out there. If you like this video, then like it. Stick around, subscribe, join the community, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.